I always save the tab order for last. Sometimes it drives my clients crazy, but if you don't save the tab order for last, you end up doing it over and over and over again because they change the way the fields are ordered. And so, okay, we need to change the tab order again. Just save it for last. It's going to save you some work time and uh, make you, uh, you know, finish your projects earlier. It's pretty easy to do. Just go to, we'll hide this, set tab order. And what I do is I usually clear all because I don't want to have buttons and tab controls and other things inside of the tab order. I just want fields. That's it. And then I just simply walk down what I want to do. I want to go name, count, password, category, website, go to the notes section. And if we're over here in the password history, we can certainly go through these if we want. There we go. That's it. I didn't highlight this timestamp here because uh, it's going to be prevented from going to it anyhow because there's, there's no access to the field. And I think I did the same thing for this, so we can take this one out also. There we go. And that's it. Pretty simple to set up, but again, I don't want to do it over and over and over again. So I save some time by doing it at the very end. And then, of course, you should go through and test it. And we didn't need the password in the tab order, but you can see that even though I put it in there, it never goes to the password because it doesn't allow access to it. Ah, well, I, I should say take that back. It's because it's a, a field that can't be copied. It's a field that's uh, been concealed. That's why it doesn't go to it. Interesting, didn't know that, but that's the way it works. So there's your tab order, very easy to set up. Again, I take the buttons and, and everything else because I don't want it tabbing to buttons and tabbing to these things. It's just confusing for me. For me, the tab order is just about fields.